My beloved love, you've become very skilled at manifesting your reality efficiently. At times, you become so accustomed to or familiar with it that you don't give yourself enough credit for it. Now let's move on to this traditional tarot card that came out for you, because Gemini, there's something you need to know today about this Ten of Swords energy. This is a heavy energy, feeling like you're hitting a dead end, putting the final nail in a coffin, metaphorically closing this chapter. I feel like I'm seeing someone slam a door. You're shutting the door on people whom you intuitively feel have backstabbed you, betrayed you, or not given you the respect you deserve. You're no longer allowing yourself to be a doormat for others. There's a strong, I love myself, I honor myself, I know my worth, and I'm going to set boundaries accordingly kind of energy. This might be an unfamiliar space for some of you, particularly with Gemini placements. In general, you enjoy positive communication and negative communication makes you uncomfortable. Whether it's coming from others, or whether you need to communicate something that you know others will take negatively, it's a challenge. You're also highly intuitive, so when you communicate a boundary, you intuitively sense the other person's reaction, as if it's happening in your own energy field. This adds to the discomfort we're talking about here. But you're facing those fears you're learning to communicate those boundaries to people who have crossed them in the past. There are people in your life who haven't had your best interests at heart, and I feel that this is coming to light. You're seeing it in a glaring way. I'm hearing for some, it might actually be a tough pill to swallow at times, because you're seeing the truth in certain people around you in a way that can be painful to see or accept. However, your guides assure you that nothing is revealed to you that you're not ready to receive. They're also so proud of you for having the courage to communicate your boundaries and your worth through your actions and communication with others. Even when it goes against your nature of always wanting to keep the peace, of course, keeping the peace is a really beautiful thing. I feel that for whoever I'm speaking to, you actually have this really magical gift of being able to make other people feel very comfortable. But as with every gift, it comes with shadow elements as well. And part of the shadow element of this gift of being able to make others feel at peace and comfortable is that it is very difficult for you to do or say anything that you know is going to be very destructive to someone else's reality or to their mental state even if it's something that feels really necessary to say. So we have a card from the traditional tarot coming out. Wow, what opposite energy is coming out through these cards, Gemini? Have you been feeling in kind of an opposite energy lately, meaning swinging from highs to lows? From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe.